While I must first disclaim any claim to the mantle of a mineralogist or geologist, the metamorphosis of olivine into idingsite is a fascinating case study that serves as a microcosm of the grand processes that shape our planet, and indeed offers a metaphor for transformation in the natural world. As a lay enthusiast of the sciences, let us embark on an exploration of this phenomenon with the intellectual rigour and curiosity one ought to muster for any worthy subject. Olivine, for the uninitiated, is a silicate mineral that abounds in the Earth's mantle and is commonly found in basaltic lavas. It is, in its purest form, a crystalline solid composed of magnesium, iron, silicon and oxygen. These green-hued crystals are the unassuming architects of the Earth's rocky countenance, bearing witness to the fiery crucibles from whence they came. However, the stability of olivine is not ordained to last in perpetuity. Its fate is not unlike that of all matter that dances to the entropic tune of the universe. When olivine is exposed to the vicissitudes of weathering on the Earth's surface, where water and atmospheric oxygen are abundant, it begins a slow and inevitable transformation. This chemical pilgrimage, which we might whimsically liken to the inexorable march of life towards death, results in the birth of a new substance, idingsite. This transformation is a subtle insurrection against the original mineral structure. Water, that universal solvent, infiltrates the olivine's crystalline fortress, and in a process known as serpentinization, it encourages the iron within olivine to oxidize. This oxidation state is the chemical equivalent of a revolution, overthrowing the established order and creating new minerals in the process, such as gothite or hematite, along with amorphous silica and other secondary products. The intriguing passage from olivine to idingsite is marked by a visual tapestry as the mineral's green fades to the rusty hues of decay. The once uniform texture becomes a battleground of alteration with the original structure of olivine being eroded away to reveal the telltale signs of its successor. This metamorphosis is not merely a curiosity for the mineralogist, but stands as a testament to the dynamic nature of our planet. The transformation is an echo of the incessant cycle of creation and destruction that governs all things. It is a process that lays bare the interaction between the geosphere and the biosphere, a reminder that even the rocks beneath our feet are not immune to the relentless forces of change. Within the matrix of olivine, the process of serpentinization initiates as water molecules, often carrying dissolved carbon dioxide, infiltrate the mineral's lattice through tectonic fractures and micropores. The hydrolysis reaction involves the substitution of silicon by four hydroxyl ions to form serpentine group minerals, for example chrysotile, lizardite and antigorite, and magnetite, alongside the liberation of hydrogen gas. This chemical reaction substantially alters the olivine's molar volume, leading to a pronounced increase in porosity and the development of a weakened mesh-like fabric. Concurrently, the oxidizing environment facilitates the conversion of ferrous iron ions within the olivine structure to ferric oxide, engendering the precipitation of iron oxides and hydroxides such as gothite and hematite. These secondary iron-rich phases intercalate within the serpentine matrix, engendering the characteristic red-brown veining of idingsite. The alteration process is thermodynamically favoured under the specific conditions of low temperature and high water rock ratios, typically present in near-surface environments subjected to meteoric water influx. The study of such transformations is not solely an academic pursuit. It bears direct relevance to the quest for knowledge about the history of water on Mars, where olivine and its weathering products have been detected. The presence of idingsite-like materials on the Martian surface provides a tantalizing clue to the planet's wetter past, and perhaps to the question of whether life once existed there. Thus, the humble olivine's journey to idingsite is a chapter in the grand narrative of the Earth and its celestial kin. It is a story that beckons us to look deeper and to question the permanence of the material world. In its transformation, we find the poetry of geology, the beauty of decay, and a reminder of the inexorable passage of time that marks both the animate and the inanimate in our universe. Let us then, with the curiosity of a child and the skepticism of a philosopher, continue to probe and ponder the secrets that even the smallest grain of transformed mineral might hold. For in the understanding of such transformations may lie answers to questions that have preoccupied humanity since we first gazed in wonder at the stars.